Hey everyone, welcome to Daily Dose. I'm Chris Riley. And have you ever wondered what causes right axis deviation? So you're working a shift and you get a patient's ECG put in front of you. You notice that this patient has right axis deviation and you see the prior ECG because you're a good clinician and it shows this axis is now new. So there's definitely a few things to keep in mind with new right axis deviation. First of all, before you go down that path of, wait, this is a new right axis deviation, you have to make sure there's no lead misplacement. If your P wave axis is normal, now we're thinking, wow, this is an acute right axis deviation. So what we should be thinking about first and foremost in these cases is an acute pulmonary embolism or something causing acute right heart strain. And with PE, we can see a lot of different changes. One of the most common findings are T wave inversions in the precordial leads as well as in the inferior leads. And that helps us differentiate it from ACS, which is more commonly found in the precordial leads as biphasic T wave inversions consistent with Wellen syndrome. If this patient has a prior EKG and they have right axis deviation, they've been a longtime smoker, or maybe they've never had an ECG done and they're not symptomatic, this could just be pulmonary hypertension from their untreated emphysema or COPD over time. Don't forget obstructive sleep apnea as a cause of this chronic pulmonary hypertension as well. The next emergent diagnosis you have to think about is sodium channel blocker toxicity. This can run the gamut as TCA overdose, anticholinergic or antihistamine overdose, and don't forget cocaine overdose can also cause this sodium channel blocker toxicity. If you make this diagnosis, you should be slamming your sodium bicarb as soon as possible. And the third one you have to think about is hyperkalemia. Hyper-K can cause all sorts of strange changes in an ECG. One of the more common ones is widening of the QRS, peak T waves, but sometimes you can get this new right axis deviation. And that's a quick rundown on right axis deviation, emergent causes of acute changes, and non-emergent causes. 